You know, have you ever wondered about how we have some of the most graphic to an intimate detail of pictures from the Civil War and so forth that it makes you feel when you are looking at them at that time that you're right in the middle of where the battle is taking place and it's not a painting of the battle that represented by an artist like the Hundred Years War of the 15th century. Although paintings like those are a different story of their own. But one photographer and one of the earliest captured the Civil War of America drew photos recording the battle this way and its graphics of it that we are drawn to. So let's talk about this photographer. His name is Matthew B. Brady. And we'll be talking about him in the Story of America Cards Dalton Culture section. Matthew B. Brady was one of the earliest photographers in American history. Best known for his scenes of the Civil War, he studied under inventor Samuel Morse, who pioneered the daguerreotype technique in America. In 1844, he opened his own studio in New York City and photographed John Quincy Adams and Abraham Lincoln, among many other public figures. The day-by-day -day reporting of modern battles and wars is covered in graphic detail through the marvel of a television. By contrast, during the American Revolution, the first reports of battle often took days to arrive and then they were only occasionally accompanied by sketches. The first real breakthrough in pictorial reporting occurred during the Civil War through the medium of photography. And the man who introduced this style of reporting was Matthew B. Brady. Born in Warren County, New York around 1823, Brady was encouraged to pursue an art career by the artist William Page. Page introduced Brady to Samuel F. B. Morris, who invented who was involved in the new art of photography then known as the terror type, named after Frenchmen who invented the process, LGM Daguerre. Brady learned all he could about the invention and soon began experimenting on his own. As early as the 1840s, he opened a portrait studio in New York City and became an intimate success, photographing scores of important political and social leaders of the day. In 1850, a collection of Brady's photographs was published, and the following year, he won a prize at the Grand Great Expedition in London for a showing of 48 portraits. Brady abandoned the Duraghi type method in 1855 in favor of the new water pellet process. When the Civil War began in 1861, Brady pursued persuaded President Abraham Lincoln and others whom he had often photographed to allow him and his assistants to follow the Union armies. Working out a the black mobile laboratory, Brady and his men photographed nearly all of the newsworthy battles and most of the major figures of the war. He and his team took thousands of war photographs, many of them appearing in 1870 in Brady's National Photographic Collection of War Views and Portraits of Retrospective Men. Unfortunately, his pictures could not be used in newspapers because printing presses in the process had not advanced that far yet. Most papers used co correspondents who sent in the one-the-screen sketches of the war. As a result, although Brady's photographs represent a unique and valuable record of the period, the project went bankrupt for him, and he was no there was no commercial market for his work. 
Although Brady continued his career as a photographer after the war, he never regained the fortune or early fame. Failing eyesight and ill health affected him in his declining years, and he died alone in poverty on January 15, 1896, in New York City at the age of 72. Brady has photographed over 18 of the 19 presidents at the time and those who were still alive at the time. From John Quincy Adams to William McKinley, the reason he only photographed the 18 was because the 19th president, William Henry Harrison, died in office three years before Brady started his collection photography. Brady photographed Abraham Lincoln on many occasions. His Lincoln photographs have been used for the $5 bill and the Lincoln penny. The thousands of photographs which Matthew Brady's photographers such as Alexander Gardiner and Timothy O'Sullivan took have become the most important visual documentation of the Civil War and have helped the historians and public better understand the era. Brady photographed a lot of Union officers such as Ulysses S. Grant to Lou Wallace. You can find more of the names on the Wikipedia. And Brady did not just take pictures of Union soldiers, but Confederate as too, as he took pictures of Robert E. Lee and Jefferson Davis. He also photographed Lord Leons, the British ambassador of Washington during the time of the Civil War. And that will be it for the photographer Matthew B. Brady. Hope you liked it and I did a good job on the history for him. Just to give a sneak peek of what I may do next for history cards, we'll be staying in the dot and culture category for a while. As next, I'll go over history of a ladies book to a magazine that had the goal of exposing corruption. So if those interest you, you stay tuned for that.